Our brain is an essential organ which controls everything we do, think, and feel. Key to the brain's function is the constant supply of vital oxygen, along with the supply of nutritive blood. Without a steady supply of blood, brain cells will die. Due to the high energy costs of maintenance of brain neuron firing, the brain demands a high level of oxygen. Despite accounting for only 2% of the body's mass, the brain uses 25% of glucose available in the blood. As a group of neurons are active or fire in response to a task or stimulus, they require more nutritive blood. However, blood flow balance is essential. Too much or too little blood can damage brain cells and tissue or affect the fragile blood-brain barrier, a fine membrane structure that protects the brain from unwanted molecules and separates it from cerebral spinal fluid. Well-regulated constant blood flow is key to ensuring healthy brain function. Brain blood vessel health may also be key to the onset of neurodegenerative disorders, including Alzheimer's disease. It may also be important to growth control in tumors and to the regulation of pain. Understanding more about blood-brain flow control and vascular health could be key to opening new avenues to treating and preventing brain changes that lead to these brain pathologies. Intriguingly, blood flow in the brain is controlled locally. The organ seems to control blood flow at a remarkably constant rate, despite fluctuations in arterial blood pressure. This phenomenon is known as cerebral blood flow autoregulation. A research team led by David Harder at the Medical College of Wisconsin is focused on understanding more about mechanisms blood flow autoregulation in the brain. For blood flow to remain constant, the brain relies on specialized vascular muscle cells in the blood vessels to react to changes in pressure. Cerebral blood flow autoregulation stems mainly from messaging from muscle, rather than neuronal signaling, a process referred to as myogenic. If arterial blood pressure is high, constrictions in the arterial muscle cells control the amount of blood flowing through vessels. This ensures that the brain, which is very sensitive to physiological changes, is supplied with a constant level of blood. Harder's research has three key aims. The first aim is to understand how the brain responds to changes in cerebral arterial blood pressure. The second aim is to pinpoint exactly how the brain responds to blood pressure changes to cause vessel constrictions. The team also want to understand how arterial muscle cells interact with other cell types to govern blood flow. To do this, the researchers are working on identifying and studying key molecular processes, including ion channels, oxidative stress, and metabolism, that could be involved in autoregulation. The team focus on arterial muscle cells, neurons, glial cells, and star-shaped astrocytes. Studying these cells in normal physiological conditions and in animal models of disease helps the team understand the role of cerebral blood flow autoregulation in health and pathology. Dr. Harder's work, funded by the National Institutes of Health, NIH, is helping to unravel fundamental mysteries of the brain. This program of study could one day lead to better treatment for devastating neurological conditions.